Hi, and welcome back. In this video, we're talking about the at syntax for decorators. We've used a couple of decorators in the past, like the at property decorator, and also at class method and at static method. Now we're going to learn how to use that for our own functions that we create, our own decorators. All we have to do is actually really simple. Is do this. Now we no longer need this line because this function, when it's defined, is already defined using the decorator. So now my function doesn't really exist anymore as a function. We can just run my function here and you'll get the password for the admin panel. And if you change the access level, you get nothing. However, something not so great happens, which is if you print my function dot name, this should give you the name of the function. What do you think is going to get printed out? Possibly not what you'd expect. Now you get secure func printed out because that's the function that you defined that is actually replacing my function when you run it through this decorator. Also, if you have a doc string here, like for example, allows us to retrieve the password for the admin panel, you can then print this out by uh, printing dunder doc. Now you can see that you get none. You get none because again, my function has been replaced by this secure func. If you were to add something here, hey, then you'd get hey when you print that out, as you can see. So not so great, particularly when you have multiple functions each one being affected by this decorator. Like if you have another function here and it doesn't do anything, but you know, you apply the uh, decorator to it, then you can print out my function name and you can print out another name. And they're both called the same thing, <laughs> which I mean, it's true. They are both this function, but what they are doing is different. One of them is returning the result of calling my function. The other one is returning the result of calling another. So them two having the same name doesn't make any sense. They are different functions. Why should they have the same name? So this is a slight problem with decorators, but there is a way to solve it. Let's look at how we can keep the original function name and doc string when using a decorator in the next video. I'll see you there.